a tender heart. Reading from scripture, Ephesians chapter 4 verses 31 and 32. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Today we talk about the tender heart. In the scripture above, we see two opposing heart conditions. The first one is an intolerant and a hard heart condition. And the second is a tender heart within the same verse. So what is a tender heart? A tender heart is one that is compassionate, affectionate, sensitive, and has an influence that is far reaching. Tenderness as we see in these verses is linked to a relationship with others. Being tender hearted is best seen in our relationship with others. Jesus was the epitome of tenderness. He was always seeking to comfort the needy heart, but yet he never compromised on his teaching of the word. We read in the Gospels of how Jesus was moved when he had compassion and he healed the sick. So what does it mean to have a tender heart? Having a tender heart is first of all, being aware of the needs of others. And it's being aware of their pain, understanding their pain. A tender heart doesn't allow a loved one to remain in the place of despair but always moves in to give a word of encouragement and hope. Just like Jesus in his dealing with the Samaritan woman. He shows how carefully he dealt with her, yet firmly dealt with the sin. Tenderness is also being delicate, sensitive, soft-hearted and affectionate. Jesus was always tender towards the people. The Bible talks about his tender mercies how he gives his mercies to us freely and he wants us to be that way as well. The tender heart also cares less about the self and is more concerned about, about having a sacrificial heart, having a joy of being sacrificial. This was so wonderfully demonstrated by Jesus himself who gave up his position as deity and came down, humbled himself uh, to the earth for our, to die for our sins. He gave himself up as a sacrifice so that many of us could be saved through him. This is the tenderness that Jesus calls each one of us to, to have. So what is it that keeps our heart tender? Tenderness is a byproduct of love. That means to feel really deeply from within our being. It is our ability to love and the tenderness within, which is diminished around the world today. Only Christ's love can renew and restore this love that is healthy. Our hearts also grow tender when we are obedient to God's word, when we pay attention to the spirit, when we pay attention to what is written in scripture, it tenderizes our heart and breaks away our opinions. So let us be tender-hearted, first of all, towards our brothers and sisters who may have fallen into sin or who may need a sense of encouragement. Let us be tender-hearted like Jesus, giving words of comfort and encouragement. The tender-hearted believer always emulates the tenderness of Christ. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for your word. We thank you that you have been an example of tenderness, the way that you loved and helped people who came to you. Teach us to have the same love towards others who may have fallen into sin or who may need a word of encouragement. Thank you for giving us what we have asked. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.